who's ready for a Monday reset? I am, I certainly am. And um, this one is on the topic of envy. Now I find envy and jealousy is something that can become such a norm, a normal part of our daily life to feel that way. But it really doesn't have to be that way. And actually the more I read about envy, the more I realized how damaging it is to myself, but also to the energy that I'm giving out to other people. So let's get into it. Oh, and this is from the book Surrender that I keep talking about. So many nuggets of wisdom in this. It's amazing. It's really juicy. And it goes like this. Normally, people are not ready to help another. If they do help, they will only make the effort if it does not inconvenience them. Inconvenience them. They will assist only if it will not disturb their own ego egocentricity and individuality. Then they can tolerate the idea of extending themselves and giving their mercy as and when they desire or they can tolerate the idea of giving to their subordinates because it reinforces their own position of superiority. Enviousness means focusing on what is constantly happening to me, for me, by me, and about me. Within this paradigm, you has very little significance to me. Only if you are bothering me in some way, does the I pay attention. Let me read you this other bit before we dive into it. It says the Srimad Bhagavatam emphasizes that real non-violence means freedom from envy. People normally equate violence with physical assault, but actually real violence constitutes as any thought, word or action that impedes the well-being of another. Envy means assault. It implies a violent attack. When we observe enviousness in ourselves or in another, we should immediately realize that this is a symptom of a very serious disease. Now that's pretty deep and it's pretty intense, but I really think it's so true. And one thing I always remind myself every time I even think I feel envious or every time I think I have some sort of negative feeling towards other people's success, I think of this analogy that Radhanath Swami once gave and it's stuck in my mind ever since. He talks about the different body parts. And I think I've spoken about this before, but it never hurts to hear it again. He says how, you know, the hand never says to the foot, oh, I can do what you do. Or the heart never says to the lungs, oh, I can do what you do, but I can do it better. The whole body actually ends up working together to create health. He goes, that's actually what health is. When all the different parts of the body work in harmony, to create good health, to allow us to do what we need to do. And in the same way, we can think of ourselves as, di as different body parts. And we all have such unique things that we offer to the world. Even if it seems like somebody has the same skill set as you or is doing the same thing as you in some way, so what? How beautiful that you have a common ground with somebody. Uh, we always want to be unique, but actually how beautiful it is to have something in common with somebody else. For example, I love to cook. And it's so lovely to see other people that make such incredible dishes in the same way or um, in their own unique way and we all have to realize that these skills are given to us and we have the ability to use them in a way that's in service to other people and every time I think of that I'm like wow what a unique quality this person has been given and how beautiful that they're able to use their skill in a way to give to people in the way that they do and so um, that definitely helps my mindset so much when it comes to this so Actually, enviousness ends up damaging ourselves more because that's the energy that we're creating inside of us, that negative energy, and that's the energy that we're giving out to others. And actually, one thing I have definitely realized is I used to feel that way so much when I didn't know what I loved and what I could give to other people and what I could provide to other people in their life to um, enhance their lives or support them in some way or what skill I had to give to others. And so I really think it's so much more about finding what brings you joy and finding what brings you happiness of giving to others. And then you won't really care about what other people are doing. You really appreciate them and appreciate what they are able to offer to other people um, and value that so much more if you know exactly where you are, you know exactly what you're able to give. I really think it's something so important to think about because envy and jealousy can become so deep rooted in our day-to-day -day lives of a feeling that we've come so used to that we think it's normal, but it's not. It doesn't have to be um, and it's definitely a place that we should dig into I used to do this practice of writing down whenever I used to have those thoughts in my mind and who it was about and then I would write down what I wish I had thought what I wish I had said um, but more so how I wanted to reset my mind to think so when I saw someone doing something incredible and my mind thought in that way I thought no like I want to be thinking this I want to be thinking positive things I want to be thinking um, deeply and, and truly that I'm happy for them.
and that also used to be such a good indication for me of whether I was progressing or not or whether I was satisfied in my own life um, with whatever I had was by by those feelings and those thoughts um, reducing. So I hope that was helpful and I hope that you have a great week ahead of you, sending you all so much love and uh, so much gratitude for all your messages too. I really appreciate you all so much and um, that's a